Check it out, I'm back with some more sticker submissions. We've got six or eight packs here. We've got tons more in the backlog, so like no other, we're gonna get right into it. Check these out. So first up, we've got UFO. He hit me up with this pack and uh, said it was coming my way a little while ago. So as always, these are a little delayed from when they actually get sent out, but let's see what he sent my way this time around. I'm sure many of you guys are familiar with this stuff. So we've got a UFO Bink collab there with a little tab on the tongue. Nice vinyls and a little contour cut all the way up to that edge. Oh, you got that peel tab right there. Gonna make for peeling nice and easy. And then a slight color hit right on the tongue. So that looks nice. Can't say I've seen that exact rendition. I've definitely seen some prints of uh, his stuff with that character style before. And we've got another collab here with UFO and Binkadoo. Can't say I'm familiar with Binkadoo, but it's similar style. Uh, not sure what else Binkadoo does. He's got just those two collabs as far as I'm seeing in the pack. And we got a little throw up here as well from UFO. I got some pepperoni pizza stickers. These are some custom prints I saw him uh, layering up like tons of them on his uh, Instagram. So these are real sweet. Kind of feel vinyl-y. They definitely got a plastic feel to them. Got some cracked peels in the back. Not sure exactly what material these are, but sweet full color, same character on the front. And UFO actually has been posting like crazy on YouTube. He's doing like four or five videos a week, it seems. And he actually hit me up and decided to sponsor a little bit of uh, sticker submissions to pay it forward a little. So he threw uh, some sponsorship stuff towards my way to give an extra little feature on some of his YouTube video stuff. So <clears throat> I promised him I'd give a little detail on some of the sticker uh, videos he's been doing. A lot of kind of sticker oriented stuff, whether it's some like how to's or he actually did some sticker bombing in a, in a recent video as well. So be sure to go check out his channel. He's been uh, trying to get really active and staying uh, you know, densely interacting on the uh, scene wise by supporting tons of sticker trades and stuff. So be sure to check out his stuff. Definitely come cool YouTube videos as well as a different take on you know the stuff I post here. So really unique stuff. It's a big collab here. So we got Icer check can't say I'm familiar with S Y N maybe and then UFO on the end we got some I think the warriors down there and then even a character I'm not sure who the alligator is and lastly a, a print I made for him so back when I was getting myself worked together on how to do the orange best you see still some streaks on the print but still got that gloss and nice. This one was actually featured in that uh, sticker uh, kind of bombing video that he put out. So be sure to check out his stuff, like I said, putting out a ton of content. So I'm sure he'll be able to find something sticker related as well as some good quality stuff from UFO. So be sure to check out his channel and I'll have his Instagram and stuff linked down below as well. And now let's check out who this next pack's from. Alright, looks like we got a return pack here, so if you're interested in submitting some stickers to sticker submissions and getting featured in a video like these guys, simply just pack some stickers up to the address in the description, and then I can also send some back to you in return if you include an empty envelope inside that's addressed to yourself under my hand, and then uh, throw a few stamps on there, and I'll pack this full of some mixed artists from uh, previous months and even stuff from the same video as you, and uh, get that sent back to you. So this return pack will be stocked full of stickers and sent back to this artist so let's find out who it's from so looks like we got a little metro card coming out of can't say I there's any city on here and can't say I can read the French on this side where I think this pack came from Quebec and look at it be some leftover Halloween treats maybe so it looks like we got Taz Led Taz Montreal definitely coming from uh, our northern neighbors to the US so thank you for sending over a pack of some unique stuff so maybe these will be fun for somebody to draw on the little metro passes I don't see an Instagram here from Taz so looks like we even got some Sabo in here so a few different artists maybe mixed up together some friends nice chrome Sabo there and similar style nice round throwy for sure got a nice green there black combo thank you for the Sive tribute Sweet black on green. Oh, even some extra stamps snuck in there. Some priority mail. I'll tuck these to the side. Maybe he's paying it forward, or in case I can stuff some extra stuff into his pack. Either way around, another side hit up. This is a sweet throw up. Definitely like the 
cut style there. Thank you for that as well. Get some more Pride Mails. More of that Savo style. And some blanks. I'll be sure to pass the blanks along and pass your stickers around. So I'll be doing my best to track down Savo's Instagram, but nothing in the pack right now to, to know whether or not he's got one right live. So we got a crazy fat stack to start, as well as another return envelope. So you can see we got the address for the sticker submissions there, and then on the reverse side, plenty of stamps to go around. So that will uh, be stocked full soon enough. Let's check out what seems to be a little packaging endeavor here. So we got, I know the answer on this little mouse character. Pretty cool vinyl. Set these down, see what we got. So we got Dr. Dog Critical Equation. Hello, I'm super new at this. Enclosed are stickers I made in a rubber band and also some to trade and share. I'm sending blanks for the others to use and the SASE is enclosed. So I got the SASE. And there we have it, shot by a fan, videos and promotion. Looks like we got Richard Santos. So we got an email there, if that's all I've got, maybe that'll be a good way to hit him up if you want to do a direct trade. But we've got some funky stickers to begin with. Got some googly eyes, kind of collaged on top of an old, maybe World War II soldier. Can't say I recognize that illicitly. And we got some clams attached to a rock, also printed out. Very collage oriented style. These are pretty rad. A whale and some hand painted in the backdrop. Now this is sick. The the two kind of tone tape. So these are th almost another sticker just put on top and then and then the walrus looking thing here is another layer on top of that, so very cool. We got a, a burnt flag as first class. Another hell of my name is. President Charlie. This looks like a Star Trek reference on some orange paper. Ah, sticker paper. Very nice. So we got a bunch of those, some different burnt oranges and then some fluorescent oranges. Pretty cool kind of black and white design. And here are the blanks he's talking about. Damn. So I'll do my best to split these up to a bunch of different people. Send those around. Those will definitely get some unique drawings on them, I'm sure. The fluorescent colors are pretty killer. And then Disco Zombies, little hand drawn, very nice. Got another zombie shark here, custom printout. King Kong, it was a beauty killed beast. Another blank here. These look to be the mix pack. Oh, a snake that slipped out of his pack. Very interesting Bort sticker here. Got some gnarly teeth and then a character on top. Two huge vinyls. These are four by six inches or so. Very cool to see what other people come up with and send along to be passed even further. So very sweet. All high quality stuff here. Very nice durability on these. Looks like he did a trade with Bort. Got some more big vinyls here. And last up we got Flobama Beats and Visions. Oh, one more. A little creative gnarly. So big shout out to you. Thank you for sending in. I'll uh, leave your email down below for hitting up tape and you can check out his work. I'll do my best to find a maybe link or something that you can check his stuff out in addition to that email. Next up we've got Violence Visual coming in in a European pack so maybe we'll see where he's coming from. France. Very nice. So he's coming from Dijon, France. Very sweet. Thank you for including your Instagram right on top so I can tag you effortlessly and check out that Sive tag. That thing's monstrous. Really digging that S. So here are his stickers and then also included a separate pack. Maybe some friends. So here we go. Uh, big collab. See some familiar faces on there. So we got Bessie, B-E-S-I, I think, or B-Side. Regardless, crazy tag. Look at that S and that B combo. Literally all those letters are super straight. Very sweet stuff. Got a nice holographic with Bellas and Bessie down there at the bottom. Gotta flash that off, of course. Oop, a similar style in white. Cool use of the square sticker, but you know, positioned it for the, the two. Another hollow of that same one. Kind of a grimy style, but K 
Taylor calligraphy. This is a clear egg, it looks like. We got some purple eggs. Bessie. Doubled up egg or just a big guy. Can't say I've seen them that size before. A little bit larger, very nice. Little character, Illuminati style. These are some rad tags. He actually, and now that I'm thinking of the name, has hit me up on Instagram asking me if I got this. So sometimes it does take a few weeks or upwards of a month to actually get all the videos filmed up. I try to stockpile them and I'll actually film you know, four videos all together. So, so, slight delay, but I don't open the packs ahead of time just so I keep all the reactions and you know the, the honesty on the, you know, how much I do like each and every one. So, needless to say, Bessie, killing it with these lettering. These are some crazy stuff. Calligraphy paint markers all across the board. Some big UPS blanks here. Pink and green combos, always a easy sell for my favorite stuff. A little character stencil. Nice there. Got those Montana blanks that are common across the UK. There's B was on another one. That is just a gnarly a style. A lot of flavor in that. Tato stickers, very familiar. They are busy collabing on there. And we got Crone and Bessie down at the bottom. Might have to save a spot for myself and pass this along. Great collab there. And we got some artists here. So T.E.R. Elaine, Terlane with this triple character on the Montana. Very sweet. I'll leave all these Instagrams there. Very uh, appreciative of you know people you've traded with to go across and put everybody's names on the back of these. Definitely goes a long way. Definitely nice to see that you're supporting the, the scene thoroughly and making sure nobody goes missing. So, real sweet stuff here. Must be a heavy trader because there's a, a range of artists, to say the least. BKC. It's almost better to go this way, actually. Get a quick look at the Instagram and then see what the sticker has to hold. Got a few from this guy last time around, I'm pretty sure. The header they snuck in, I can't remember if he sent the whole pack or not. Got a peeker here, Propaganda Project, very nice. Just French on the back, there we go. Another Propaganda Project in, in dough. Propaganda Project's getting around, he sent that crazy huge pack a few videos back. I'm sure most of you guys caught that. Nice flower. That one's sick. Get a close detail here. It's a little <clears throat> light on the contrast, but you got that green outline in there. Awesome stuff. Nez coming up. Nippos. UK has been busy with these heat letters to go plenty around. Neutral Goblin. Can't say I'm familiar with that, but cool little illustration. Looks like we got another one. Slightly larger. Kamer. Very nice. Ooh, a little Mario between Crone and Tonky, maybe? That is a crazy collab, all 8-bit out with Mario in the middle. That's hype. Nice big Montana from Crone again. Sweet throw up there, super crisp. Way clean. A couple tags here. We got BKC, Brass Knuckles Crew. Another Crone, Trio 1. These are all like kind of almost leaching out, but it gives a sweet little texture back there. Trio again. 720 BKC. And then look, for you, a couple blanks. Check these out. Uh, hard to miss, a big holographic. Here's another one of those large ones. Looks like it's coming from a French eggshell shop. So, can't say I'm familiar with them, but maybe I'll give them a look. Good to see the eggs are spreading as wide as they can. 
helping everybody out, and then a Graph City, and a Montana Red. Very nice. Bessie outdid himself sticker after sticker, not to mention including all those other artists, so hopefully you guys can follow up with any of those people if you're interested in checking them out, as well as give Bessie a huge, huge love for sending that big fat pack, and maybe you'll get a few in your pack if you send in shortly before they're all gone. This pack's actually been in my possession for quite a while. We've got Hap here. I don't see an Instagram on this first one. Yeah, it's saying this pack has no Instagram, but it goes by Nap. And he's just starting out, so no worries there. Thanks for sending in. I'm sorry it delayed so long. This actually got caught in a box while moving, and literally the other day, I was just going through some extra boxes and happened upon it. So figured I'd throw this in the first video I could. And here we are with Hap. Got a bunch of those yellow eggs coming in with extra blank as well. So, so I'll pass that along. And then we got a little red hellos here. Hey yo, they call me Hap. Some other throw up stuff. Got some Sharpies on here, it looks to be, ink-based markers. You can even see them yellowing a little bit and bleeding out there, so cool to see. Some aging to the stickers, unfortunately, since they've been in my possession for, oh, probably six months almost. And then last up, a little cardboard, so something a little bit different there, all hand-colored in. And we got some paper drawings here, a little drippy blue character, and then a mushroom guy. Very cool hap. Thanks for sending this in. Sorry it got delayed so much on the feature side, but no return back in there, so uh, at least you got this. So if you guys do know where hap can be found online, be sure to hit me up. It's always nice to be able to actually provide everybody's Instagrams all together. Really unique thing fell out the back, but gotta wait to the end to keep you guys around. So we got bladerunnersystems.com. A couple business cards in here, so hopefully that's a good way to circle back to this artist. Got a, a little warning on the back note. Rules of engagement. No one can apply to all applicable state and local laws pertaining to the use and ownership of this project. You assume all risk and product is warranted for manufacturer defect. Interesting to see. So I don't know if that's whole sticker stuff, but we got a switchblade magnet here. So maybe that's the big deal here. A bunch of knife oriented things. That's pretty rad. Can't say I've seen a kind of mass produced magnet in quite a while in such a unique shape, so good start from Blade Runner. And we got A-Y-E-F, looks like it, AF on a postal. Haha, <laughs> that's a good way to follow through with the, the knife theme. You got the go-to band-aids on the, the custom BRS on there. That's a pretty funny addition. And we got AF as the tag, so it looks like a little combination of maybe a side hustle doing the, the knife thing and doesn't hurt to also enjoy the graffiti stickers. So we got a return pack here, so I'll be packing that full, four stamps on there, be able to hit plenty on that. Looks like we got plenty more to keep going through. So we got another Blade Runner sister envelopes here. These are pretty cool. Kind of gray style to them, and got almost like a, an army logoing up there, and then the URL down there at the bottom as well. Definitely cool little envelopes. Can't say I've seen custom envelopes from anybody in an official sense. Let's see what this piece of paper holds. So, after doing a little bit of decoding, I'll give a close up on the images first. These look like a bunch of get ups of different stickers all around what seems to be New York, lower Manhattan. So, also included are some. GPS location, so it literally looks like latitude and longitude there. So 4716162, potentially. And then we got some text over here, so let's get a closer look at that. You can go see some of these guys in person if they're still riding. It's a cool way to do it, little almost Zine style printout. So those are definitely coming from a different tag than Aves. This looks like Eric's. E-R-O-K-S. No Instagram on here, but very unique character, so I'm sure we'll be able to hopefully come up with something just by setting the masses out. And I'm sure some of you guys have crossed paths or traded with Eric's before. So this is a trifecta pack amongst everything. So next up we've got some more BRS little sticker packs, or sticker sheets I should say. So we got a bunch of different stuff. Kiss cut around here. 
all that same kind of iconing we saw before, BRS and the switch blades. So it's real sweet. Got two of those. And we got a little. So we got a little brochure here to close it out. Use code BRS15 for a discount on your gear. And then we got a long list of Instagrams here. So I'll be sure to tag most of these that I can and find that also had stickers in the pack. But looks like it's a widespreading, almost crew-oriented uh, deal with both the switchblades and all the stickers. And last up, this might be some customized tape. It's got that standard kind of tape feel to it. But then we've also got images printed all over it. So we've got the BRS playing card there, some switchblades, some skulls. This is a real cool addition, so maybe I'll uh, chop these down into individuals so we can get them spread around to a bunch of different people. So very sweet addition to close that out. Tons of unique stuff from everybody. We got heat from all over the world. We got France, we got Australia, stuff from Canada, and I think UFO is also Australia, so really, Total international setup here. So big shout out to everybody that's sending all the way over to the US to me so I can feature this and big ups to everybody for sending the heat in. I'll be sure to do my best to have everybody follow through with you in the description of the video. You can check out links there, go follow back and maybe hit them up for a trade seeing as they uh, were able to send fat packs my way. Hopefully they'll be able to send maybe one yours if they like your stuff as well. If you want to be featured in a future sticker submissions video, it's literally open to anybody that wants to send me a pack. I'll have the current and active address in the description of the video, so you can go check that out and mail a little package to me. And then also in return, if you want stickers back, so I'm going to pack all these stickers back up and send them back out around the world, include an empty envelope like this one that has your address kind of under my hand and three or four stamps on there. And that way I'll be able to fill it right up and just drop it in the mailbox and get it sent back to you. Now there's always a little bit of a delay, so don't be worried if your stickers don't show up for a little while or if your video doesn't pop out in a little bit. If you send correctly to that address, there's a 99% chance that it's getting to me and I'll be featuring in a future video. Once again, be sure to check everybody out if you're interested in trading and be sure to go follow up with UFO. He's got a ton of content coming out on YouTube and a lot of stuff really relevant to the sticker trade and all the sticker goodies. And also be sure to give him a big thank you for supporting the project and helping it continue through and through. As people boxes and shipping all this stuff isn't free but uh, I like to give back as best I can so he helps put that forward and big thank you on that front so UFO's contributions definitely help push this a little bit further than it would be just on my own so I appreciate that through and through that's gonna do it for me guys peace